Introducing the uh, Tronders for race number five. Condition claiming Trotters racing one mile per $2,200. The one is Oaklawn Carrot, owned, trained, and driven by Jeff Dennis. Number two, G.J. Wally Witt, owned by Don and Gene McKee of Newark. Jim Arledge Jr. trains, Don Irvine Jr. drives. Three is Mandy O, owned by Helen Eisenagel of Jackson. Rick Hartman trains, Bill Long Jr. up. Four, CeCe's Guy, owned by Ray Cromer. Jerry Kincaid and Stephen Yates of Ohio. Ray Cromer trains. John Collins drives. The five, Lucky Nevertheless, owned by Billy Mitchell of Lexington. Dan Ader, the trainer driver. Six, Blazing Dia, owned and trained by Andrew Price of Lockburn, Del Millera. The seven, Tug Button, owned by John Mace of Washington Courthouse. Doug Mace trains Jerry Roberts up. Eight, Minuteman Ranger, owned and trained by Dr. George Redden of Van Buren. Brad Hanner is at the bike. The nine crown time endeavor, held by Esther Crown over MacArthur, Earl Owings trains. Dave Miller is in the sulky. Win play show perfecta pick three. Fifth race, Trotters lining up, move again. On the back stretch, there they go. And uh, they're off, and it's Blazing Dia from the outside. First for the lead, Tug Button alongside, one step quicker. From the inside in three, it's DJ Wally Wet. Early fourth, lucky nevertheless. From off the pylons, five, Oaklawn Carrot, angling in sixth, CC's Guy. At the rail in seventh, Mandy O, looking to dunk in eighth. It's Crown Time Endeavor, and Minuteman Ranger away sluggishly in ninth. Reaching the first quarter mile marker, it's Tug Button with a lead, but on the outside, here comes Lucky nevertheless, opening a quarter in 30 seconds flats. Lucky, nevertheless, makes her bid for the lead. Tug Button won't give it up easily on the inside. Blazing Dia behind the battling leaders in third. Two lengths in fourth to DJ Wally Witt. Three lengths, five. Oaklawn Carrot underway in sixth. CC's Guy. Minute Man Ranger now into gear on the outside. Moving from off the back end. Then comes Mandy O and Crown Time Endeavor is now trailing. Reaching the half in 59 and four. And on the front, Tug Button uh, has put away Lucky Nevertheless, who was there on the outside, but she's now fading. She moves back to the pack. Blazing Dia now at the inside behind the leader, but is gapping slightly. CeCe's Guy picks off this field one by one and is moving quickly on the outside. And third, at the rail and fourth, DJ Wally Witt. Off stride goes Minute Man Ranger. At the rail, locked in Oaklawn Carrot. She'll need racing room here as they swing into the final turn. It's still Tug Button. He's led every step of the mile. Three quarters, 130 and two. CC's guy stalking the leader on the outside, racing in seconds. Blazing Dia waiting for racing room. Now tightens up a bit, and Oaklawn Curret moves into striking position, swinging three wide with Lust at an eighth. And down the stretch they come, and Tug Button clings to the lead. CC's guy, Blazing Dia on the inside. As they drive the deep stretch, it's Tug Button. Here comes Oaklawn Carrot, and Oaklawn Carrot closing with every stride, but it's Tug Button a half length over Oaklawn Carrot in two minutes and four. Side they go, double prints with the lead. Larry Hanover second. Hi, Colonel's old granddad. Th Here is the unofficial winner, number seven, Tug Button, a four-year-old Ohio bred son of Lockheed Almerhurst from the Speed in Action Mare, Speedy Olympia. Up at John Mace of Washington Courthouse, Doug Mace trains Jerry Roberts in the sulky. Tug Button records his fifth of the season, trotting tonight's mile, a gate-to-wire effort, two minutes and four fifths. Tonight's fifth race trophy presentation made by the friendly folks of Waterfield Financial and Dominion Homes.